Our talent development program is really based upon a very bold and audacious idea. At that time, there was hardly anyone of color at the Youth Symphony. And so then we said, well, maybe this is what we can focus on. The talent development program's founder, Azira Hill, had a very clear desire. She wanted to see in Atlanta an orchestra that looked like the community in which we live. And the talent development program was created to remove any barrier toward reaching that goal. My friend Mary Grambling was chairwoman of the uh, audience development committee. And so we just started talking and brainstorming and see what could be done. So that's how it got started. The first audition was 200. And out of those, we selected 10. The goal was to make it to the Youth Symphony. One of the things that we see on an almost annual basis is the students in the talent development program taking their place as the principal players in every section of our Atlanta Symphony Youth Orchestra. The program has evolved. We started as the Black Talent Development with 10 students. Then the number was increased to 20. In 2003, the Goizueta Foundation provided the funds to add by Latinos, and then it changed from Black Talent Development to Talent Development. So this is where we are now at 25. The core of the Talent Development Program is that one-on-one -on -one study with a professional musician who is most often a member of the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra. I just never had so much fun teaching. Just, they're like sponges. They just want to learn. And everyone in this program, it's, it's great because they have to want to be there. To see that kind of dedication that these kids pull off day in, day out, they're like, there's not a lesson that they're not prepared. We, as uh, the symphony musicians, uh, give private lessons. They also uh, are involved in many concerts. They, come, they, they perform their own concerts and they come to many of our concerts and they're given a really great musical education. Going to concerts was a great experience. I was able to go f free of charge and bring family members and just, you know, experience classical music in a way that I had not done before. It teaches you so much than you could learn just by sitting at home practicing. It, they're so amazing, I just I want to get to that level, definitely. In the early years of the Talent Development Program, um, we started with school year instruction, basically September th through May, and it was one of our teachers, Ralph Jones, saw in one of his students um, some real talent and said, we need to get this guy into a great summer program. And he took up donations. So he started his own mission. He started collecting money. The student went away, had this great summer experience, and when he came back to the Talent Development Program, he had so dramatically changed in his approach to study, his approach to the art, that Ralph said, we have to make this kind of opportunity available to every kid. So that's how the scholarship fund started. And it really did enrich the program a great deal. I've attended two summer music programs, and the first one I went to was Swanee Summer Music Festival, which was absolutely amazing. It, I had so many opportunities to perform in a big concert hall around a, hundreds of talented musicians. The first camp I went to was Interlock in Michigan. Going up another level of music, you know, by sight reading and practicing, it just, it just improves your skills. It inspires me to keep playing and keep going in music because I see like all these talented older musicians around me that are so successful and I just want to have that. The talent development program targets minorities such as African Americans and Latinos in the community and seeks to give them classical training in music that otherwise they may not have an opportunity to have. It also really influenced me to want to do the same with others. The children I'm working with now, they 
love music so much. And because somebody took the time to invest in me, I have the desire to invest in them and also see greatness in their lives. We all take part in trying to foster them as the next generation of, of musical leaders. We have seen our students take their places in great conservatories and universities and to match the goals of the program when we started, we are seeing them take their places on the stages of American symphony orchestras. It had taken a while, but I think it is going in the right direction. And we were just um, thrilled to death that we are getting there. It's really encouraging as we, as we look at that program and what it's accomplished over 20 years and what a difference our artists, the members of the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra, who are the teachers and the coaches and the mentors for these young artists, you look at the difference that they've made and you realize we're just at the beginning of the possibility of our talent development program. And I'm really encouraged as I look out over the next 20 years to think about the difference that we can make in this community and how many lives we can touch with really quality music education. I'm proud to be part of the Town Development Program and I can't wait to see how it changes the faces of the American orchestras in the next few years. It's just awesome to be here. It is like history in the making.